It was just a typical day as Bobby Weddle spent his birthday working to clear trees around Cedar Rapids following last month's derecho. Little did he know there was a surprise planned. I've got him thinking he's coming up here to look and see this tree. And once he sees this tree, uh, supposedly, uh, we'll be able to uh, surprise him with Miss Christie being here. Bobby's been away from his family for the last three months, helping different states with disaster recovery. And that includes Christy, his girlfriend of 15 years. It makes it really hard for me to be out here keeping a, a really beautiful smile on my face, knowing that I miss my loved ones at home and everything. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it kind of takes a lot out of me in a special way, but, you know, it makes it all worthwhile for the people in the community to, to continue supporting us and giving us love and, and, and compassion. To make it a bit easier, he plans family visits. But Christy didn't follow the plan and showed up a day okay. early. Hey, Bobby, that's what I want to show you, my friend. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Christy's here, folks. <laughs> what Christy didn't know was Bobby also had a surprise planned. I was expecting her to, the following day, so it kind of threw me a little bit off. I was trying to surprise her with an engagement ring and everything. I was wanting to be at the airport with the ring, so it's like a real special thing, so it kind of messed me up with my schedule. But Bobby got creative. He told Christy they were stopping at a restaurant and instead took her ring shopping, where yes, he popped the question. I mean, honestly, I thought it was a joke and um, it still kind of feels surreal. We've been together for 15 years, so it's about time. And it happened in a place neither ever imagined. Out of all the places in the U.S., you know, 1,500 miles away from my home front, here we are in Cedar Rapids in the middle of a corn patch getting engaged. <laughs> to me, when I came up there and I got to meet some of these people, um, it just felt right being there and that it happened there. It, it felt really good. And uh, it'll, I'll never forget Cedar Rapids. Symphony Sherman reporting there, and certainly congratulations to them.